As a result of the new law in California requiring paid sick pay for almost all employees, we begin a lot of questions about how to set that up in QuickBooks. If you do your payroll in QuickBooks, then the software will actually compute that, it will uh, accrue those hours, and it will track that for you. So this is a quick video on how to do that. I'm going to click here on Employees in order to bring up the Employee Center. I'm going to choose Michael Wilhite here, and I'm going to double click on his name, which brings up his edit window. From the edit window, I have these tabs along the left. I'm going to choose Payroll Information. I'm going to click on the button Sick Vacation. That brings up this little pop-up window right here. This handles both sick, as you can see here in the top half, vacation in the bottom half. This is all we're concerned about. These numbers should be zero right here. If I have not offered sick time in the past, then this employee obviously should not have anything here accrued that they could take. This section right here allows me to tell QuickBooks how do you compute these hours. Well, uh, the law requires one hour of sick time for every 30 hours worked. So that's going to be a, a fraction or a portion of a sick time hour for, um, for every hour worked on the paycheck. So that's the option I'm going to choose here, every hour on paycheck. And then if you do that math, that's going to work out to 0 0.03333 as far as um, how much sick time he's going to accrue for every hour he works. The law does allow for that time to be capped at 48 hours, so I'm going to put that as the maximum number. I'm going to leave the year on a calendar year basis, but I wanted to be sure that it begins accruing on the right date. Now, the, the law requires that to begin on July the 1st, so that's the date I have in here. I'm going to leave that, I'm going to click OK, and then back in the employee edit window, I'm going to click OK again, and Michael's all set up and he's ready to go. Now to show you how that works, I'm going to switch over to the Payroll Center. I'm going to start a payroll here for Michael. And if I put 30 hours in for him for regular pay, then you will see over here where QuickBooks is accruing the sick time, that it's accrued one hour of sick time for his 30 hours worked, and that's, that's correct. And if we put you know, enough time in there, we put 2,000 hours, hours in there, something like that, we would see that that would max out at the 48 hours, and that, that wouldn't give him, because we set that cap, so that wouldn't give him more than 48 hours of sick time. So let's leave that at 30. One other thing I should mention, there'll be a, a sick uh, time item QuickBooks will want you to set up. And that's how we would use the sick time. So if the employee was off sick, we could uh, put an hour in there since that's all he's accrued. And you'll see this drop down to zero or, or close to it. It's 300 of an hour off. That's, that's uh, close enough, I would say. Let me delete that line. And let's just leave the check for 30 hours. And then there's uh, one thing I want to show you. close these windows. There we go. I wanted to show you the report. It's under the under reports in the employee section. Uh, paid time off list. There we go. So if you take a look at this, this shows you the hours available and the hours that have been used for both sick and vacation for your employees. And you can see since I saved that paycheck, we've got Michael Wilhite here with one hour of sick time available. So that's how it works, a pretty simple setup. I think uh, any of you can probably do that. Uh, hopefully that's helpful to, to get you up and going for the, in time for that new California law. Thanks.